Yes, the fun ensues down here live at Buffalo Billiards, and uh, more bands, more fun, and, and correct me if I say the, the name wrong, Heloise and the Savoy Fair. Is that correct? Actually, you, there you go. Just actually, go ahead and pick it up. Just grab it. Hey, hey, hey. There you go. Um, it's actually Eloise. Eloise. Savoy Fair. Is the H silent then? Yeah, it's okay. my mother. It's a French name. Well, it, I apologize. I'm from Texas. We, we <laughs> pronounce every consonant whether it needs to be there or not. So um, <laughs> You can call it Heloise and the Savoy Fair. That is no, no. I want to I okay. make sure I do it right. That's why I asked. And uh, welcome to Austin, Texas. Welcome to South by Southwest. Thank you and, and you brought a friend with you here. Thank who who is this guy? He looks familiar. I don't know. Uh, who yeah, is this? Well, he's um. My name is Elijah. <laughs> My name is Elijah. He's our record <laughs> label president. That's yeah. that's got to be kind of cool. Elijah Wood, thank you for stopping by this cool. afternoon as well. And thank that's got to be kind of cool that uh, the the president of your label is well, he's a famous guy. I know it's it's very cool. Um, it doesn't really act like a famous. Yeah, I would say, guy. but more than anything, we're we're just really good friends, and yeah. we're nerdy about music and. That's kind of how we connected. Well, that's going to be a cool place for you as well, because if you're a music fan and you finally have the means to just do what you want with music, that's going to be a cool thing, because you don't have to jump through hoops to make stuff happen. You do it your way now. Exactly. I mean, it's something I've wanted to do for a long time, being a fan of music. It got to the point where I didn't want to just sit and watch and sort of see these bands that I loved not get the attention that they deserved. Right. And so I thought I'd start a label, and it's all kind of came out of that. So were you guys friends uh, from the beginning, or did you seek out their, ba- their their music, or how did this come about? My girlfriend actually introduced us. Um, they were friends for, for years. They've been yeah. friends for years. And um, I saw them perform live, and that's when I fell in love with the music. So at the time, did you have the label, or was it still kind of something in the works? I didn't. It was in the works. Okay. Yeah, it was an idea. And I was super shy, too, because I was like, hey, would you ever consider maybe doing a record with me? And I was like, please, please. <laughs> Whatever it takes, I'll do it, man. So how is the, uh, the the record process going? I mean, it, are you learning as you go, or did you kind of have an idea how the record industry works? And then as far as you, as being signed to a new label, has it been hard for you? That's a two-part question. You can take it any way you want. Why don't you go first? Okay, well, I would, I'm, I'm going to speak for you for one moment and say I think we are learning as we go. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it is, it's been challenging at times, I think, because as you said, we're both, this is new for both right. of us. But You're virgins, I, think, I tell you. Yeah, we are. And, but I think that um, it's been also a lot of fun, and we've been learning to trust our instincts a lot more. Um, so there have been times where I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing, and then I'm like, yes, I do. Well, you, you're going to you're gonna have to make the, the mistakes. You're going to have to stumble a few times because that's the only way you're going to learn. That's right. the thing. And, I, and I, I, you know, I, I certainly knew people in the music industry before I started a label, asked so many questions, yeah. um, and sort of did a lot of my homework beforehand. But there, it doesn't really apply until you start doing it. And you really start learning along the way. And I'm kind of keeping it small for that very reason, um, to learn and make those mistakes. And well, it's a big, scary industry. The music industry is a big yeah. monster, yeah. and yeah. it's ready to eat up anyone who comes along. It is. It's completely unknown. Um, but that's also what's exciting about it. And it's, you know, if I was in this to, to be in a business, hey guys, if I was <laughs> the in band this, is to, outside to do this as a business A-holes, decision, basically. then I think it would be scarier. But the reason I'm doing it is because I love it and I want to put out records. So because the impetus is more out of my passion, I'm not as frightened by right. the void and the craziness and that I is the music industry. Also, we've been um, very lucky that we, I mean, you and I are, are very good friends. And also, the, you know, the, the, the team that we've assembled, we're all friends yeah, was, like, you, know, you gotta keep those people close to you you gotta yeah. have the people you trust close to you yeah. yeah so with you and what what got you into music in the first place I mean when did you start playing music was it a kid uh, singing and, and yeah I was like a band nerd you know like terrible. nothing wrong with, I wanted you know what's sad is I wanted to be a band nerd but my parents wouldn't even buy me an instrument so I couldn't even be a band geek man well I wasn't I didn't really want to be in band but yeah, I mean, I just got, I, and yeah, yeah, I wanted to be in band, and then I was like, ugh, I don't want to be in band, it's so uncool. And then I got into <laughs> choir, which is like a little bit better. And uh, Since what is choir cooler than band? When did that yeah, happen? I, I was going to say, how did, yeah. I, I grew what, up in Minnesota, I don't know, that's just like, <laughs> just it, was, how it, goes it, was down. Bit, it was a little bit cooler, it was a little bit of a step up. So right. I was in choir, and then, uh, I don't know, I just, I've always loved music, really, really loved music. I used to record myself with a tape recorder, like, to see, I, was like, I think I'm a pretty good singer, just let me just check. You know what's so funny about that? Like <laughs> That's so great. Dude, that's, what's so funny is like, because you chose music and you used to sing I used to like when I was like eight years old I used to do like radio announcements into a recorder and I'd play it back how, yeah, it how really dumb funny. is that it's really funny. I used to walk my dogs and then I would do radio announcements in my head <laughs> and, and like choose the songs and I'd create songs in my head because that's what I wanted to do I wanted to be a you, DJ you, you chose the right field trust me <laughs> <laughs> you chose the right field <laughs> Eloise in the Savoir Fair and I said it right that time yes, look at me yes. Texas boys can learn <laughs> see I went to college I went to community college baby I, I got it all down <laughs> All right, and you're joined with uh, Elijah Wood this afternoon, and who happens to be your boss? Yeah, he's uh, he's my boss. Is he a, is he a slave driver? 
No. The, I think we, I don't know, we work very well together. Yeah, we do. I think we inspire each other. Have you had to yell at her yet? I'm all about teamwork. And have you had to yell at her? Do. No. Okay. No. You don't seem like I think she's probably yelled at me. Yeah, sometimes I nag Elijah more than he <laughs> yells at me. <laughs> we're, a good, we're a good team. <laughs> you don't seem like the, 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 like the angry type. I'm not. No, no. you don't seem like I, you I would be. I don't ever really get angry. Because I've seen you. Like you've been in Austin a few times. Well, you come down here quite often. Does your brother live here? My brother lives here. Yeah, because I know Zach used to spend over at Firehouse sometimes. I mean, you'd come into town sometimes, and that's why I knew you were a music uh, a music geek like myself because yep. you'd come down and spin. But yep. when Elijah would spin, it wasn't like records and stuff. No. He'd break out the iPod. Like, all right, this is what you kids are going to be listening to. Here's some stuff that I dig, and he would just <laughs> go through the iPod and you just rock stuff on the iPod. I'm like, yeah. that's really cool because that's. How, if I was ever a DJ, that's exactly what I do. All well, right, you kids. just have more volume of songs, and you don't have to carry around a bunch of stuff. It so. seems pointless nowadays. You've seen the little things in now. They have the uh, you can put uh, two little iPods in, yeah. and, and you can just mix it from two little iPods, yeah. which is pretty amazing. That's insane, dude. I know. Pretty soon, you won't even need an iPod. You can just play music <laughs> out of your ass. Or something. That's right. <laughs> right. Although that, that Serato system is amazing. Have you seen that? No. What is that? Where you can actually um, plug in your computer. They it, it, that plugs into a mixer, and then there are two record players that play dummy records. I and then you can oh, actually you can scratch, scratch your MP3s. Right. It, it shows you the BPMs. It is the most amazing system. I was, you know, the, pretty soon you're going to have a program that does it for its, You don't have to do anything. Oh, you don't, just don't say it. that. You, you just think, think it, it and then just Don't happens. say that. <laughs> is that scary? Is that scary? It is. It is. We still need people doing that. <laughs> so where can people go online to uh, find your music and uh, to, if they want to check up on the, uh, the showcases uh, coming up so they can remember and know? Um, Eloisemusic.com. It's with an H. H-E-L-O-I-S-E music.com. Um, and then you can get to our MySpace page and everything from there. Good old MySpace. Yeah. It's worldwide. <laughs> yeah. It is. It's a fad. It's going to go away soon. <laughs> it's a fad. Well, now it's Facebook. Everyone's talking about Facebook. Yeah. You got. I thought that was a college thing. Not I mean, I, I mean, I just graduated from college like a year ago, but uh, I think I might be a little too old for that stuff. Guys, thanks so much for stopping by. Thank, thank you, you so much. I'm glad we made time for you guys because we, yes, we had you on the schedule for yesterday. I know. They got screwed. It's Blame your brother. Crazy. Blame your brother. Yeah. I will. I will. <laughs> Zach, 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 that bastard. But thank you guys for stopping <laughs> thank by. Thank you so much. Thank you.